I'm going to create a new sprite, go to resources or right click on sprite. I'm going to call it as SPR start and I'm going to click on edit sprite, file new and now what I need is a button with a rectangle box so I need more width and less height. So the width of the rectangle box I'm going to keep it as 128 and keep the height as 32. Press OK. I'm going to edit it and zoom in a few times so that I could see. So first thing I'm going to draw is a rectangle box. I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to select the second one with an outline. And I'm going to select a color that I need. I'm going to select a black outline and I'm going to click, hold and draw the rectangle. I need to fill the color so I'm going to select the fill tool and let's put yellow color. The next thing I want to do is put a text that says start on top of this. So I'm going to click on the text tool and I'm going to select the font I'm going to select the Tempest Sans ITC font and I think I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to select size 14 and I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to select color red and I'm going to click so that I would see this prompt and I'm going to type in my start word in here and press OK. So once I press OK, I'll see this Move tool and I can move the Start text to the center of my rectangle box. It looks OK. I would press on the green check, press on the green check, and then press OK. So I got my sprite for the Start. Let's do the same thing again for Instructions. I'm going to go to Resources, Create Sprite, and I'm going to call it as SPR Instructions. And I'm going to edit the sprite. I'm going to create a new sprite. And again, the width is going to be 128. And height is 32. Press OK. Edit. Zoom in. And select the rectangle. Select the color that you need, black and then select the choice of the rectangle shape that you need and draw the rectangle. Now once the rectangle is done, I'm going to fill it with yellow color just like the start button. Now I'm going to add a text to it and I'm going to keep my same text, Tempest Sans ITC bold and here I'm going to make the size a little smaller and press OK. And I'm going to click so that I could type it in. I'm going to type in instructions and then press OK. Now if you see the color of the font was not chosen so I'm going to click on the red color here so that my font is red in color. I'm going to again move my text so that it's in the middle of the box. Once it looks OK, I will press the green check and then green check again. So I got two sprites for the start and instructions. I'm going to convert those two into objects because when we create a splash screen room, we need to put those buttons. In order to create those buttons, we have to first create the sprites then convert it to object. So I'm going to convert them to object by right clicking create object and I'm going to call it as obj start. I'm going to select the start sprite. I'm going to check solid and then press OK. I'm going to do the same thing for instructions. My object name is going to be obj instructions. I'm going to select a sprite, SPR instructions. I will check the box solid and press OK. I 